Hey crew, it's Chris with CloverTac, and today we're gonna to be doing some basic ballistic testing with the Mighty 10 millimeter cartridge. Now before we get started here, a couple of thank yous are in order. First of all, big shout out and thank you to the CloverTac Patreon patrons. I put a poll up over there and by an overwhelming margin, they chose the 10 millimeter to be the next caliber that we test with the Redneck Ballistic Apparatus. And also, another shout out to a good friend locally with needing some water jugs to be able to use for this testing. He come through in spades. So shout out and big thanks to Willie for hooking me up with a garbage bag full of water jugs. So we've already got our two jugs of sand here in the apparatus. Get to load it up with three jugs of water. We're gonna shoot into these jugs. and We'll recover that projectile and we'll weigh it for weight retention and then we'll measure it for expansion. And for testing today, we're gonna to be using the trusty old Generation 2 Glock 20, yes, chambered in 10 millimeter. As far as ammunition today, we're gonna to be using some 10 millimeter. This is PPU jacketed hollow point with a 180 grain projectile. Before we get into the live fires, always safety first. Got my eyes on, gonna put my ears in and we'll get this party started. All right, let's put the first round down range and see what happens. If you're new to the channel here on CloverTech, we talk about all things firearm related. So if you're into that sort of thing, jump down and smash that subscribe button while you're there. If you want to keep up to date on all the newest content, go ahead and click that notification bell as well. That was too much fun, so I think we ought to do it one more time. All right, here we are taking a look at one of the recovered projectiles. Super nice flower petal there. Looks really, really good. We'll weigh and we'll measure that here in a second. But I wanted to talk about the jacket, the copper jacket. Uh, the copper jacket was found in the second water jug. And then the slug, what was left over, that lead flower petal. The sand, the jug that had the sand in it actually stopped that. So it was still in the third jug. So let's take a look at the expansion, uh, the recovered projectile up beside the one that's unfired. The unfired is going to measure in typically at 0.400 to 401. And for our expanded projectile here, there's 473. Get it from a different angle. It's going to be pretty close either way. There's 681, and that was 673. I'm sorry. <laughs> 669 so pretty good expansion a very quick question of the day just curious what your thoughts are on the mighty 10 millimeter cartridge jump down in the comments below and let me know all right let's weigh this thing out and to see what kind of weight retention we got i need to tear that make sure it gets set to zero and we know that the stock the standard projectile weight here 180 grain we did lose the jacket on this, and we come in a little bit over 156.6, so right at 156 and a half. Looks like we've lost somewhere around 25 grains uh, of weight there. Understandable considering that we lost the jacket. Makes total sense, but that's still, uh, again, check that out. Nice, nice mushroom, nice expansion, decent weight retention not too shabby so there you go crew a little ballistics testing on the mighty 10 millimeter cartridge using the redneck ballistic 
apparatus. As always, if you want to continue the conversation, you can do that down in the comments below. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching. And until next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.